As you notice the days getting shorter and the weather getting colder, you might also notice trees changing colour. During the summer, all the trees have had vibrant green leaves, but as the fall rolls in, the leaves start to change colour. Another thing you might notice is that while the leaves change colour, they are also falling off the tree. These changes are occurring since during the winter it will be harder for normal trees to produce food. During the summer, energy for the tree is produced in its leaves. This is called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, light energy transfers electrons from water to carbon dioxide. This creates carbohydrates that the tree can use as fuel. This process is shown in a diagram. 6 CO2 plus 12 H2O plus light energy equals C6 H12 O6 plus 6 oxygen plus 6 H2O. In this equation, you see the chemical formulas for water and carbon dioxide, CO2 and H2O being combined with light energy to produce sugar, oxygen and water. This oxygen output is why we are often taught that trees take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. The light energy in this diagram is captured by green pigments in the leaves. Once the days shorten and there is less sun, the pigments are retracted into the tree and leaves fall off to conserve energy. As you might expect, different species of trees handle the shorter days in different ways. Some trees don't lose any of their leaves at all. These are called evergreens, one of the most common being pine trees. These trees do not need to shed because their leaves are so much better at keeping water in in colder temperatures. Their leaves also tend to be in needle shapes so snow just slides off the tree. So instead of losing all their leaves once a year, an evergreen sheds some of its leaves every 20 years. So when you see the leaves changing colour this fall, know that they aren't just doing it so then you can jump into their leaf piles, but rather to conserve energy for the winter season. Hello, this is Procrastinating Pixelator, and I would like to give a big thank you to John from Plainly Difficult for making the audio of this video. John is another small YouTuber who makes educational videos, and he uploads about once a week. So you should go check him out. I put his channel link in the description. As for this video, I won't be doing any 3D renders ever again. It was pretty boring, took a long time to render, and I didn't really enjoy how it came out. If you think I should do it again because you liked it, leave it in the comments and I'll consider it. But other than that, I don't think I'll be doing that ever again. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.